Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to understand solved example 10.2 from the chapter Light, Reflection and Refraction. This is under CBSC standard 10 syllabus. So here numerical is an object 4 cm in size. That means a size of object that also refers to a height of the object. Now height of the object is edge and it is going to be a 4 cm. 4 cm is the height or the size of the object. Then is placed at 25 cm in front of the concave mirror. So here our mirror is concave. This is our concave mirror and object is placed here. This is our object and this length is 25 cm. Now distance of object from the pole P is U. So that is U and it is in front of the mirror. It is in front of the mirror so towards this side is negative and this side behind the mirror is positive. So this is right hand side, this is left hand side. So U will come negative because they are saying that we have placed the object at 25 cm in front of the mirror. So it will come negative and that to 25 cm. That to 25 cm. Concave mirror of focal length. So they have said F equals to 15 cm. 15 cm. Now for the concave mirror focus point also lie in front of the mirror. Focus point is also lie in front of the mirror. So focal length. Focal length is the distance between focus point and pole P. So that is also coming under this negative area. So towards left hand side. So F is also going to be negative. So here our U and F both will be negative. Now at what distance from the mirror should a screen be placed in order to obtain a sharp image? So where we will get the image, where we should place a curtain so that we will get an image and that image should be sharp. Find the nature and size of the image. So when we will get a sharp image, what will be the nature of the image and what will be the size of the image. So from here, we will need to know the distance of the image and that is V. We know distance of object and we know the focal length. So from the mirror formula, let us find out the distance of the image. So it is 1 divided by V plus 1 divided by U equals to M. So from this mirror formula, we can find out 1 divided by V that is 1 divided by F minus 1 divided by U. Now we know what is focal length and what is distance of object. So it is minus 1 divided by 15 minus 1 divided by minus 25. So when we will solve this, we will get minus 1 divided by 15 plus 1 divided by 25 because this minus and this minus is going to be plus. So let us solve this and we will get distance of image that is minus 1 divided by 15 plus 1 divided by 25. So answer we will get is minus 2 divided by 75. Minus 2 divided by 75. So here we will get 1 divided by minus 37.5. Now this is also 1 divided by V and this is also 1 divided by 37.5. So let us take reciprocal at both the end. When we will take reciprocal at both the end we will get V equals to minus 37.5 cm. So this is the distance of image. This is distance of image that is 37.5 cm and that is negative. That is negative so we will get it towards the front of the mirror or towards the left side of the mirror because this is concave mirror so we will get at front of the mirror and that to how far it is? It is 37.5 cm away from the pole from mirror formula we got the answer that distance of image is 37.5 cm. So our answer should be curtain should be placed at 37.5 cm from pole P towards the left hand side. Towards the left hand side. That's why this negative sign is there. Negative sign will suggest us that it is towards the front of the mirror or towards the 
left side of the mirror. Now the next question is find the nature and size of the image. So for size of the image we have magnification formula that is h dash divided by h. So h dash referring to the size of the image and h is referring to the size of the object. Here they have given us the size of the object but we do not have the magnification answer and size of the image. So we can reframe this formula like m equals to minus v by u we know that. So that we are going to place it here. So minus v by u equals to h dash divided by h. We know this. So this minus v by u we have placed at the place of m. Now we need to find out the h dash that is size of the image. So let us reframe this formula that h dash equals to minus v into h. This h we are taking it towards this side. So minus v into h divided by u. So this is our new formula and this we are going to use for this numerical. That h dash equals to minus v into height of the object divided by distance of the object. Now we know all this three. Now we know all this three. So let us put all the value that h dash equals to minus v is 37.5 and that is already minus. So minus 37.5 into h. So that is 4. That is 4 and then in division with u. So u is distance of object. That is also minus. So that is minus 25. And this formula is also carrying minus sign. This formula is also carrying minus sign. So that minus sign I am inserting here. So this is h dash. So once we will get the answer, this minus minus is going to be positive. But one more minus sign is here. So our answer will be minus. So this is how we will solve this. That 37.5 into 4 in division with 25. And answer we will get it will be negative. Because this minus, this minus will be positive. But one more negative sign will be remaining here. So when we will solve this, we will get 6.0 cm. So that is h dash. So size of the image is 6 cm and that to minus. That to minus. And this negative answer suggests that it is below the principal axis. It is below the principal axis because our Cartesian sign suggests that like this. That if it is above the principal axis, then it is positive. If it is below the principal axis, then it is negative. So according to this, when we are checking the height and it is negative, that means it is below the principal axis and it is inverted. So from this numerical, we got two kinds of answer. That one is V, that is distance of the image and that is negative. Negative means this is a concave mirror and when we are getting the distance of image in negative that means image we are getting it's towards the left hand side of the mirror that means we will get the image towards the front side of the mirror we have also found out here the height of the image height of the image we got it from the magnification formula and that we got minus six centimeter this minus sign suggests us that it is below the principal axis that if whenever they are giving the size of the image, that means above and below principal axis we have to refer as. Then above principal axis is positive and below principal axis is negative. So here we got negative so that means we will get image below principal axis and it will be inverted. Inverted means upside down and this referring as 6 cm. 6 cm that means the number is 6. Now we can check that the object size is 4 cm. It is 4 cm whereas the image size is 6 cm. That means it is bigger than the object. That means it is bigger than the object. So we can write that it is enlarged. Enlarged means it is bigger than the object. So that is how we will interpret from the answer. That it will be towards the front side of the mirror. It will be towards the left side of the mirror. This is negative means it will be inverted, it will be below the principal axis and this is 6 cm and this is 4 cm so this means that 
the size of the image is bigger than the object or you can write that it is enlarged compared to the size of the object. Thank <laughs> you.